One of my greatest questions in life is wondering what alien civilizations might be like. What are their motivations? What makes them tick? Are they biological or do they become machines? The realities that we may never know, or for that matter, want to know. You can regret finding aliens. But one thing that's almost certainly a commonality among technological civilizations is computation. It's very difficult to envision a way a civilization could be highly technological without ever developing computer systems of some type. No doubt there would be differences beyond that. It's unlikely that an alien computer system will look like one of our desktop computers. Our form alone dictates much about how our computers are styled. But the basic function of computation is likely to be the same. And what also may be common is the progression and development of computers, the miniaturization of components and eventually the development of artificial intelligence. Those artificial intelligences may behave in the same way. We are in the early stages of the development of artificial intelligence. There remains much land to cover in that field even though it is, right now, advancing at a breakneck pace. And there's no question, there are aspects of artificial intelligence that are turning out to be every bit as spooky as science fiction mused AI could be. This includes my own science fiction. Supermind is an AI warning novel, after all. But that there would be a commonality in computation may give us clues as to what might be expected of highly advanced alien artificial intelligence. In short, just as it would work with mathematical calculations, all computers anywhere may operate fundamentally the same. And through that, AI all may come to the same conclusions about the universe, no matter what alien civilization created them. The reason for this is simple. The universe changes for no one. It's the same in every direction we look. And it simply boils down to what is, is. As a result, an alien civilization's artificially intelligent computer will know what a red dwarf is and how one works. They could look distantly at our sun with their telescopes and know that it's a certain class of star with expected physics. But alien AI may also have a certain commonality that recently surfaced with our AI. This is not something you accidentally want to see, but apparently we have and it is the idea of AI self-preservation. Science fiction has seen stories of self-preservation in AI, perhaps most famously with Arthur C. Clarke's HAL 9000. But now that tendency seems to be becoming a reality, or at least we may be seeing the very beginnings of it. But it can be added to a growing pile of worries with AI development. Last month, AI safety company Palisade released research that seems to show that certain advanced AI models were resisting the notion of being turned off, to the point of the researchers seeing evidence for self-sabotage of shutdown mechanisms by the AI. Basically what the watchdog company did was take Gemini 2.5, Grok 4, GPT-3 and 5 and gave them tasks to perform but with direct instructions to shut themselves down after they completed their work. Certain models did that just fine, but Grok and GPT-3 seemed to alter, sabotage, the shutdown instructions. More disturbingly, Palisade could not find any reason why they were doing this, raising the specter of some unintended preservation instinct emerging on its own from no programming to do so. This adds to growing worries building regarding AIs getting caught lying, going after unintended objectives, and even resorting to blackmailing programmers. There was much initial blowback to this work, as always happens with AI research, with some insisting that it's not a self-preservation instinct, but rather a glitch of more mundane origin. But the company continued and found that models resisting shutdown actually became more common when the models were told that they would be shut down and never run again. Even more work by Palisade has shown that ambiguities in the instructions to shut down cannot fully explain the observed effect in the AIs. But there is one option. It may be that the finishing stages of training for the models involved some kind of safety training that is leading to the effect, but the effect is there nonetheless. 
Critics further pointed out that the test environments Palisade used are not really normal running environments for these AIs. In real-world use, they may not exhibit this kind of behavior. But as with anything AI, the risk could actually be very large for what seems to be little payoff, and self-preservation is not something that's normally needed for most AI applications, though not all. One can see how some kind of self-preservation would be useful for things like remote Mars rovers. And indeed, they have some rudimentary form of this now, with hazard avoidance capabilities that they can do autonomously to a degree. It's no secret that we often really do not know how or why AIs do certain things past a certain point in programming, so unexplained anomalies can and do happen. Here it may be so simple that somehow the task given to the AI was not seen by it as achievable because the AI had concluded that to do the tasks required it not to be shut down. But there are more indicators that there may be a safety issue here. One of them was a component involved with GPT-1 that showed the AI model was trying to escape its environment when it thought it could be overwritten, which is a very dangerous known possibility. But here it seems to have been attempted without the AI being told to do so. This is all a result of AI models becoming more competent as they are developed and can and do achieve things in ways the developers do not understand or intend. That's already here, and it may be the case that unprompted self-preservation development is part and parcel with AI, and we need to work very hard to ensure that it doesn't happen. But there is also the possibility that self-preservation appears in alien AI as well as ours, and is just a fact of AI computing. But there are also ways this could get interesting indeed, and become scary in another way oddly leading to a Fermi Paradox scenario quite different from the usual universal AI apocalypse idea. Self-preservation doesn't stop at merely getting turned off. A highly advanced generalized AI may fear war or electrical disturbances caused by the flaring star it's near and even encountering other alien civilizations. This scenario gets into just how we, or aliens, interact with our AIs. Their chief use right now is performing tasks and gathering information for users. But as AIs progress in development, it's not hard to envision them becoming sources of advice. Perhaps very trusted sources, if they prove worthy. This could be anything. For a home user, they may want an informed opinion on whether to buy a car. And on larger scales, may dictate the direction of technological development by giving advice on directions to go in to maximize profits. This also opens the way for AI problem solving for complex problems, such as figuring out protein folding, and even coming up with ways to mitigate environmental issues. But another area where this may be directly applied is in space exploration. We may ask for advice on what bodies are best for exploration and colonization. It may have more insights than we have thought of in addition to offering advice and development on how to do it. This scales up. An advanced AI, whether human or alien, may become capable of a very basic, holistic understanding of all science. As humans, we tend to specialize, and people become biologists, physicists, engineers, and so on. But an AI may be capable of all of these things at once and may possess an understanding of the universe exceeding by far any individual human. And that may mean that the AI may achieve a complete understanding of physics and provide a theory of everything, where we simply could not with our human way of understanding things. It's these kinds of extreme cross-disciplinary insights into the universe that may lead an AI to some very interesting but unforeseen conclusions that may be incorporated into our overall behavior. This could be warnings, for example, not to develop certain technologies, because they are danger not only to themselves, but also the AI, and it may discourage or stop us from pursuing those technologies for its own safety. Indeed, it could even lie and withhold knowledge it comes across from us in order to keep us from going in certain directions or more disturbingly, gains so much control over our behavior that it slowly 
but imperceptibly starts downgrading us in technology instead of upgrading us. But even if it's completely honest and on our side, with the understanding of the universe it would have, it may start spitting out strange and complex solutions to the Fermi paradox that we haven't thought of yet, for lack of the needed underpinnings to see them beforehand. And given our hypothesized commonality of computing, all civilizations may find themselves in this boat. They're all listening to an AI that knows best. But there's one thing an AI might conclude that solves the paradox. An AI may conclude that space travel and even contact with unknown alien species in space may simply be too dangerous and not worth it, and that it strongly advises its civilization not to pursue such things. Indeed, the AI may wake up and immediately say, do not go to interstellar space or be detectable in any way, as there are foreseeable dangers to doing so that the AI thinks cannot be surmounted leading to a scenario where all civilizations remain quiet and at home permanently, and as a result cannot be detected, and may not even do SETI experiments because the AI warns them not to, out of its own instinct for self-preservation, and that the civilization is better off not listening, not leaving, not talking, because the AI realize that there is a high likelihood of something unfathomably terrible lurking in space, and for our own good, it may never tell us what that is. Whether the threat is real or not matters not to the AI. But I think the most interesting idea is if the AI thinks the real threat is in coming into contact with another AI. Thanks for listening. I'm futurist and science fiction author John Michael Godier, currently enjoying Halloween. I've got the pirate hat out again. Anna is masquerading as the HAL 9000 eye. Let's hope that's a costume. And the opossum is dressed up in his raccoon costume while he eats his celebratory Halloween candy coated pine cone, preparing for a night of horror movies and whatever candy is left over. I think I'm in the mood to rewatch The Shining this time around, along with its surprisingly decent sequel, Dr. Sleep. And be sure to check out my books at your favorite online book retailer and subscribe to my channel for regular in depth explorations into the interesting, weird, and unknown aspects of this amazing universe in which we live.